Hey everyone, this particular video which we will be demonstrating and the tools which we are using, we are using in an isolated environment. If you are practicing these things, just set up your lab and should not be used in a public environment without any consent. And do follow your regulatory guidelines as per the cyber best practices. Hey everyone, today I was going through my Flipper Zero and I wondered like I, I'm not able to do anything related to the Wi-Fi applications in Flipper Zero. So well, uh, those who don't know like what a Flipper Zero is, so Flipper Zero is an all-in-one device like which is used for testing out various protocols like NFC, RFIDs and so on and so forth. But yeah. There is one thing which I found lacking in this is the Wi-Fi. There is an additional dev board which you need to purchase for approximately $100 or so. But what I noticed, I was going through the chipset for the dev board provided by Flipper Zero and they are using the same chipset as ESP32. So I am having one of the standalone module of ESP32 room and it contains both the things like BLE, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. And moreover, if you want to go for a dev board, you will be finding out the same chipset. But yeah, getting the dev board even if you spend that much money is pretty bitch on a expensive side because that's not readily available and most of the official websites are saying it as out of stock. To overcome this problem, we will be programming our ESP32 with a Marauder firmware and I know like there are certain handheld devices just like the smartwatch which is coming for the Marauder firmware just it will be having the evil twin or the deauth attack which you can perform not spending that much we are just spending ten dollars to this esp32 board and flashing it in a same fashion so that it will be used by our flipper zero so let's see how it can be done let's jump into our system okay so to begin our process first thing is we will be requiring certain set of file which i have provided you the links in the description once you have these files in place you need to extract these files and once these files are extracted you will be finding out a lot of tools and a lot of things but we need not to take care of any of those apart from the flash downloader or we call it flash download tool now you have this tool in place then we will be going up with this tool and you will be seeing like we need to provide multiple files in this these files will be your bootloader your partition your hardware specific files and the application for marauder firmware apart from this it will be requiring certain offset values so that come to know like on which particular segment value needs to be written up. and once we provided these values exactly same as you can see for bootloader it's x1000 and for the partition is x8000 for the hardware files it's x10000 for the application is e triple how this will work and then you need to click on start and once you click on start you will be finding two buttons inside this device and you need to press the boot button and once you press the boot button you can start to flash the particular hardware now to make the connection you need to have the connections in this way the tx and the rx for both the devices should be opposedly connected so that it can have a two-way communication and then we will be going with the standard ground and the three volt connection this is how it will work and let's try to connect and let's see how it works and let me take my setup which we have made from esp32 and the flipper zero so as you can see like if I go to my applications and in GPIO I'll go to Wi-Fi Marauder and first let's scan the access points. So here you can see like it will be scanning up the access points and you can even see the logs for that. And there are multiple options you can go for a certain ssid you can add random ssids you can list on the access points and much more so and now we will be going to the d auth attack and let's start d -authing. so it is just broadcasting the deauthentication and let's see if we are able to disconnect and yes we are disconnected from the wi-fi you can see and it's connecting to all the access points which I've saved and it's disconnecting it's deconnecting and reconnecting so that is what the DR attack is happening 
from this particular device and last there is a message i like to convey up with you it takes a lot of effort for me to bring up such videos so as a compensation what i'll be needing from your side is just the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be clicked up and do follow up for more educational tech stuff and stay tuned stay connected stay safe thank you